Hey guys, Jonathan here for Veterans Barbershop, Veterans Barbershop, Cookville, Tennessee. I want to talk to you today about clipper cutting with a vacuum system. If you have a, if you do a lot of clipper cutting in your shop like I do, you need a clipper vac system. Now there are a lot of systems out there. Most barbers, especially when they're starting out, begin with a shop vac. That's what I did. Shop vac is fine. It's functional. But there are a few problems with using a shop vac. Number one, shop vac is noisy. Number two, you can't adjust the suction. Number three, they burn out. So when I, my shop got busier, I was burning through a shop vac every two to three months. So I was using between three and five shop vacs a year. And at $120 a pop, uh, that, that adds up after a while. So I decided to upgrade to a quality system, spend a little bit more money up front, but a system that was designed for hair and that would last a long time. I looked online before I made my decision, and there are a lot of good companies out there. Most of them market themselves to pet groomers, so if you're doing your research, you're going to have to look uh, at, at pet grooming products in order to find a good quality vacuum system. What I ended up buying was the Hanvey Hair Vac. Now the Hanvey is a product made in South Carolina, so it's an American-made company. I was able to talk to their lead engineer, and he answered a whole bunch of questions for me, but the big question that I never could get answered is, how loud is this product? Um, when you find videos online, they always show maybe a groomer uh, cutting a poodle's hair, but there was music in the background, so you couldn't hear what it actually sounded like. So today, I'm going to turn on my machine. I'm going to show you my machine first. I'm going to turn it on and let you hear the volume, um, and, and so you can make a more informed decision. Okay, here we go. First, I want to show you the nozzle. Now, my smartphone that I'm using to record this is about two feet away from my face, so... Uh, the noise that comes through here is going to be a little bit distorted because, you know, it, it's very, it's, it'll vary depending on my recording device and what you're listening to this video on. But anyway, here's the nozzle. It, it attaches right to your clipper. I use the Oster 76 or Oster, depending on what part of the country you're in. The hose attachment that comes with it swivels at the, at the head here so um, it doesn't get tangled up. Now, the machine itself, I'm going to shake the camera here for a minute. The machine itself sits on the floor underneath my workstation. They tell you to hang it up on the wall, but I talked to the engineer. Basically, as long as there's enough air clearance around it, it'll be fine. Here's the, here's the on and off switch. Right over here is the power adjustment all the way up, all the way down. So you can adjust it there while the machine is on. It adjusts the suction and the noise at the same time. So I'm going to turn it on for you in the full power position just to let you hear it. Here we go. Now right now the machine is on in the in the loudest position in the full power full volume position. I have the nozzle away from my smartphone here but now I'm going to move it up front in between my in between here. And so now you can hear that the machine is a little bit noisy at this level, but this is this is a lot higher than you're going to use it most of the time. But you can still hear my voice, so even at this level, um, you can have a conversation with your customer. The only time I ever turn it up this high is if I'm cutting some very long hair with a long guard or something like that, or maybe some thick, wetter hair. I might turn it all the way up, but that's just for a couple of minutes. Most of the time I have it about the halfway point or maybe the two-thirds point, and I will demonstrate that for you now. This, this is more the level that I use it at for uh, regular mid-length cutting. And for the, my very short cuts, I'll even turn it down lower than this. But again, it's, it's not whisper quiet like a lot of companies advertise, but it is very quiet. It's uh, maybe about the volume of a, of a fan in the room. It's um, very tolerable to the customer. It's conducive to, to having a conversation with them. Now, as far as maintenance on this machine, I'll turn it off and talk about maintenance for a minute. As far as maintenance on the machine, I've, been, I've had it about eight months, been using it every day since then. I haven't had to do any maintenance whatsoever. I just empty the shop vac every or I'm sorry, I empty the Hanvey hair vac at the end of each business day, and all I've had to do is turn it on, turn it off. I haven't had to replace carbon brushes yet. It's always started whenever I hit the switch. So it's been trouble-free, maintenance-free for the first eight months that I've had it. So I hope this helps you. I know I wish I had had a video like this to watch. So thanks for watching.